In today's learning curve, we're taking a look at the issue of staffing shortages. Schools across the country are dealing with it, and not just with teachers, but all the support staff that keeps the school running. Team 12's Tram Mai shows us how one Valley community is coming together to make sure the shortages do not affect learning. With school back in session, there's just not enough staff for students. Uh, in starting the school, we still have a number of vacancies in both our teacher roles and also our support staff roles. Dr. Sean Holmes is the assistant superintendent of human resources at Paradise Valley School District, which has 44 schools. He says currently the Paradise Valley School District needs to fill 50 full-time teacher positions, 50 part-time teacher positions, and 300 support staff positions. But it's not just here. Schools being short staffed is a national crisis. According to a nationwide survey in January from members of the National Education Association, the numbers are startling. 90% of members say feeling burned out is a serious problem. 55% of members plan to leave education sooner than planned because of the pandemic, a big increase from 37% in August. And it's not just the dire need of full-time and part-time teachers. There's also a desperate need for support staff. And it's as simple as parents just stepping up. So here we are like six years later and I'm still volunteering. Missy Ferran's two kids, Grace and Logan, go to North Ranch Elementary School. What started as just helping out with photocopying catapulted into Missy now being the school's crossing guard. Have a great day. Because we saw the needs, the needs just keep coming for things like that, and um, it was an easy fill, no problem. But we are still looking for opportunities for duty aides to sign up because we have a few positions available. Dr. Missy Martin is the principal here at North Ranch. Every Monday morning, she sends out a weekly Wrangler, a one-stop shop of information for parents that includes a sign-up genius where they can sign up to help. We have a very involved community, and they're always willing to do what's best for kids, and they support our teachers and they support me and so if I put out that need where I need somebody at the crossing guard because it's, it's all about safety and these positions often and we need that extra coverage on the playground the parents will will step up and for Missy it's more than just a need it's a chance to be closer to her kids I really like it. I think the kids grow up so fast that it's nice to have an idea of what's going on in their school in their lives and if you're a parent who wants to help, it's as easy as talking to your school principal to find out how to get involved, whether it's pursuing a teaching career or just volunteering. And to experience our Learning Curve series, all the stories that focus on education right here in our own community, just head to 12news.com slash learning curve.